Bună ziua! Um, one more game uh, like the rest that we had uh, the last few months. We know that uh, again it will be hard. Uh, Ocelu, they showed that uh, they are a very hard team and uh, they have a very good coach that is doing a very good job this year. They put difficulties in all the teams that they played. And uh, we know again, we play home, we come after good results. Our players are, are in, in a good moment and uh, we have to keep on going, keep on winning the games. That will help us uh, for the future. Yeah, it's something that um, we know, it's good that we know because uh, it's a team that uh, in all the games, I said before that they show that they are a compact team, it's a team that uh, plays very compact and waits for mostly counter-attacks, they have good players and I repeat a good coach that he's working a lot for his team and uh, this is one thing that we are ready to face tomorrow, we try to, during the weeks to show to the players and to train some solutions in these kind of games. And I believe my players are prepared um, for this game and uh, we will know what we will face. Okay. Okay, we have uh, Balutsa out, we have uh, Kretsu and uh, Tavi Popescu. Um, okay, there are three players that uh, helped the team during the season and uh, for sure we want as much players in the squad as possible all the time but I believe that uh, as I say always we have many players in order to uh, fit the absences that we have. Do you have decided the first 11? Yes. Okay, I, I think it's not uh, the moment to say the first 11 today. We have decided for the lineup, yes, um, and you will see tomorrow the first 11. I think it's fair to see it tomorrow. And so, have you progressed and not Yeah, we have, we have solutions. We have many players, we have solutions in these in this kind of positions, and um, we believe and we will try to make the best decision for the tomorrow's game. Yes, uh, the time is coming closer and uh, for sure we have always communication with uh, Meme, with the boss, uh, with the rest of the staff and uh, now slowly, slowly, but it's important to finish these games because they are very important games for us and slowly, slowly we are uh, speaking to find the solutions that we, we need for, uh, but I believe that is not the right moment, it is not fair to say now specific position from my side and uh, we will discuss it more when we have more time. You played two times against Ocelo. Uh, yes. Which do you think is their main characteristic? They, I told you before that they, they are a very compact and aggressive team. Uh, they are very good in counter-attacks and uh, in set pieces. There are th three things that we have to be uh, focused on and concentrated on. We know uh, the strong and the weak points, let's say, but the most important is how we will be. This is what I believe, and I always say it in my press conference that it all depends from our attitude and how we will play. It's an advantage that you play against them after they lost uh, with Kareo. For me, it's a disadvantage. <laughs> when you lose, sometimes you are more focused. Maybe when you win, you are more confident, you know, and you have more. Uh, but I believe it's another game, it's a different game and for us and for them uh, and it doesn't matter the results I mean uh, that happened last week. Of course, a coach uh, that uh, has a team, he always wants to prepare his team to win and it's very logic from his side to say this but also from, my, from our side, uh, I told you, our target is to win the game and um, 
if he said something like that, it's very logical from my side. And I, as I always say, that we always want to win the games, and it's fair also from his side to believe like this. Which piece? This question I am asked every week and I say that every day you have things to improve in football. Whatever happens, no matter if you win the games or if you lose the games, you always have things to improve. So, um, the last game it was, we had a good sign for us that we kept the zero and it's something very important for my team. Uh, but uh, in everyday working, uh, we find things to correct, we find things to repeat because sometimes you have to repeat and repeat things, you know. And um, I repeat that every day you have things to correct, every day in the trainings. Uh, Otsego will have many draws this season, I think 11 or 12, yeah. 13 maybe. Uh, what is telling you uh, about uh, them this season? I hope they will not have the same stat tomorrow, <laughs> statistic I mean. Uh, yes, it's a team that they have many draws and uh, this shows what I said before, that they are a tough team. And uh, they are a compact team, and uh, I believe they, uh, the games that they didn't receive goal, they didn't score so many goals, and the games that they, uh, they received goals, they managed, they managed to score. So it's a team that we have to be very, very, very uh, concentrated and ready for this game uh, because they showed no matter where they play, home or away, they have their idea, their philosophy. Uh, but for me, always matters what my players will do. Companio. Companio is a player of uh, like the rest, you know, he's uh, for sure uh, uh, a striker likes to score goals, you know, but uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, the striker also might help the team with making some movements to opening some spaces for the other players. Um, we are speaking with Companio every day. Uh, he's a boy that he's trying to improve every day. Um, and uh, for sure, a striker will be more happy and very logical when he scores more goals. And I hope, because he's working hard, that this moment will come so he gets back his confidence because I believe he's a good player for us, that he can help us. I asked him because he was the top scorer. Yes, yes, I agree. Now he's in a tough situation, unusual situation for, for a player. It happens, you know, it happens uh, if you see and abroad. Top players, sometimes they might not have the numbers that they had the previous year and then the next year they come back to the numbers. Or it's moments, you know, maybe I wish he scores tomorrow and he starts again uh, uh, his uh, scoring uh, uh, moments, you know. And uh, I, But the most important for me is the way that he works. When you work, maybe at one moment you don't take what you have to take, but for sure if you keep on doing the things like he, uh, like Andrea is doing the, his work every day, I am sure that one day he will take back, back what he's giving. The most important for us is what we will do for sure. But I agree. Uh, if the teams that are below us lose some points, we'll accept it. It's good for us, you know. Uh, I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will happen. Uh, I hope we will watch a nice game and I hope the result will be good also for us. <laughs> what do you think about that? This is uh, because I'm a foreigner also, and you know, it's not fair to speak, you know, I, um, but um, it's decisions that the, uh, the clubs make, you know, and uh, I believe it's no matter so much if it's foreigner or Romanian coach. It's, uh, it's the moment to fit in your kind of game what you want from the coach, you know. They choose Romanian, or it's a coach, you know, he, they know uh, what's uh, the abilities of the coach that they choose and uh, this is, I believe, how the technical directors or the presidents choose, choose a coach. And uh, the most important for the country 
by my side is that many Romanian players are playing in the league because uh, this is also one reason that helped the national team. Uh, and it's very, very important that you have many Romanians in the, in the league. Now for the coaches, this is it. I don't know. I don't know what to say more. First of all, it's great that Romania will play in the Euro. And uh, it's a moment that the coaching staff, the players, people, you as journalists, because I'm sure that you will go to the Euro, most of you, it's something that you have to enjoy and uh, you have to be proud of the country and what, what is done because it's many years not done by the national team. Then. Uh, you cannot cho choose your opponents, but as Greece national team win the 2004 Euro, they didn't choose who they won. And, you know, they, they went there and at one moment they took it like, let's go to enjoy, let's go to fight for it. And they believed and they, fought, uh, they were fighting with everybody. They were fighting with everybody. So I believe no matter who will be the opponent, Romania uh, national team has to go there to fight with everybody to enjoy the, the, these moments because these moments don't come in life many times and this is the most important for me. Can you make a group with us? Uh, you put me difficult. I have so many things in my mind now. One for Romania, maybe that's the one. If Greece pass because they have the barrage, no? Uh, I, I want to play with Greece because Cyprus we are... We didn't have any chance. <laughs> but I hope Greece will pass, so we play with Greece and I will be happy. <laughs> Yesterday, did you celebrate uh, the National Day with the players playing on the Romania? Yes, uh, we celebrated, and uh, once again, I want to say Chronia Bolla in my language. Happy birthday to Romania. Uh, I know it's a special day for Romania, and um, we had our training. After our training, we had a nice time. And uh, these are very good moments that all of you and all of us, we have to celebrate with our families, with our friends. And it was a nice day. Did you eat something special? Yes. No, because I'm on post. Yes. Okay.